It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, and we're here on a beautiful Sunday at high noon, Super Bowl Sunday, February 7th, and we're going back on the road. I'm going back on the road. We're going full send today, all the way to Florida. We're going across the coast. We're here in San Diego right now. I'm gonna make the trip, 2,600 miles, all the way over to Boca Raton, stopping by Port Aransas and Pensacola, Florida on the way. Maybe stopping by Solo Skiff, some other couple spots, so we'll see how it goes. i am got my truck loaded up on the inside. I'm gonna load up the outside right now, check out a little time lapse from that, and we'll go full Road Warrior mode. So here we go, doing it. SD Fish and Sips 2021 Travel Adventures. Check it out. Woo! I'll show you this first. I got all my, I got my 4K camera right here, my all drone, audio, all my audio stuff for the podcast, my buckwheat pillow for meditation, all my swag right here. <laughs> this is my computer and my iPads and all my chargers and cords and everything like that. Yeah. And then I got my cooler over there. I got a uh, cooler and food, quick access stuff up there. And then it lays down like that. I got my blanket or my sleeping bag. Uh, nice north face sleeping bag and uh, mat there and it just goes across here. Oh nice. Yeah, I got a lot of my little guitar to play. All my hats right here. Then you got a little navigation cockpit. And then look at this back here though. I got stickers on both sides now too. With the black, just the SD fish and sips. I put it on, but I didn't have it on one side before because I ran out of S's. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, look at how the seat fits. Oh, money. I don't have to take it off. If oh. I flip it the other way, it fits perfect. So and look at back there. I got a table. Like... I got a table in there. I got seven gallons of water in the back corner. Then I got uh, a gallon and a quarter of gas, two and a half of gas, uh, my rinse out bucket, my sand tires. I got my cooler and then all my tackle. I got like probably f five or six setups, rods and reels. I have my skim board. I have my 54 special beater board. Oh, I have no, I uh, <laughs> my up. I got my rudimental long board. Look at the OJ's, the super juice wheels oh, I got yeah, for him oh, with yeah. the carving truck on it still. Dude, it's that's... so much fun with the carving truck, this long board like that. <laughs> In 500 feet, use the right lane. Okay, going through Arizona here. We're Sunday evening time, 5 p.m. sunset. Check it out. Making the journey, going through Arizona now. Here we go. <music> Mexico Walmart parking lot. We got the truckers here. We got even the camper parked out. Let's check it out. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So check it out. We got Bolin's running Indian in the background right there. We're in New Mexico right now. So I drove from San Diego to Mexico last night slept in the Walmart parking lot, and then got up this morning 
try to make it down to Texas, Port Aransas by the time uh, the tackle shop closes, but I don't know if I'm gonna make that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. A long, uh, it's 10 hours, 10, 11 hours from here. So let's go, let's get it. Come on now. Okay, here we are. They got the pond outside, but Bass Pro Shops outdoor, outdoor World here in San Antonio. Get some bait, fishing license, check out the gear. Here we go. Texas fishing now. That's how we're bringing it to you. So it's looking like these are all the lures that they're using here locally. I've heard a couple different ones of these. These spooks, chugging spooks. But I'm not gonna buy any today. Just stick to the fishing license and the bait. Got some more fishermen here. The Hobie with the trailer. Oh, what? I've never seen a, a bait like that, a soft, uh, wow. So yeah, if you bend, if you get them and then bend the tails, and bend the heads, yeah. Pretty oh, hard. like almost? These are hard. Oh yeah. And just, That's the, this is a spook one, a yeah, hard one? Yep. Yeah. And you just pull those across. I use it, I mean, I'll throw this and threads all day on that. And that's more of the, the little rattles in it these flow these take a while to go down and then you can kind of jig them up and out so but yeah we go there you go walmart lure selection this is what we got right now with it being so late Check it out, I was driving over to uh, Port Aransas and I came across this place with open sign on, shrimp. All right, here we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are, we're in Texas now. It's a Wednesday, February 9th morning. And we made the drive from San Diego all the way here to Corpus Christi. We got the boat ramp, empty day today. Got this solo skiff here. Get it prepared, ready to go fishing. We're gonna hit snapper first thing in the morning. Winds are down, we're gonna go through the channel, go outside, get some snapper by the platforms and reefs. Then we're gonna go on the inside and go for some speckled trout and some redfish, some flounder, drum, all the good stuff. So here we go, fish and sips in Texas now, third coast, southern coast, doing it right. Let's get it. Showtime here in Texas, Corpus Christi. We're at Packet Channel, little boat ramp here. It's about 7.30 now. Got the solo skiff set up, ready to fish. Gonna go for some snapper first. The platforms and reefs outside. 
and then fish inside for redfish and drum, flounder, speckled trout. Do it all. So here we go, fish and sips in Texas. Showtime, Texas time. Wow. Just look at this. A little foggy. But it's all good. Fish finder turns on nice. That's key. So here's the plan for today. I'm gonna cruise out the channel here and then I got shrimp and squid. I'm gonna drop that on the flat fault to platforms for some snapper and then I'm gonna go on the inside and fish for redfish, flounder, drum, speckled trout, all that good stuff. Here we go. Sketchy, but we made it. Oh, All right, I'm approaching a seabed here area I've seen on my Navionics. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my shrimp and squid ready. I got some shrimp from the bait shop that had live bait too. And then I got some squid frozen from Walmart. started with this pretty much San Diego style rockfish style do a cut of squid on one hook we'll do the head right here and then we'll do a shrimp on the other hook bam Let's see what's good first drop here in Texas go back to the spot the squid. Put another piece on. Drop back down. All right, I got a couple nibbles on the first seabed area, but I'm gonna go now to the platform, more platforms. Try to find them there. Wow, how cool is that? There's a platform. First platform up here. Let's try this this uh, platform right here for some snapper. Gonna drop the flat fall with my squid and shrimp on it. Let's check it out. First fish, not quite big enough. Let him back. But at least we're getting bites. Got my first snapper. Phew. See if we can get something bigger to stick. Next fish here. I think this is a little mini redfish. Not the snapper that I wanted.
Another baby snapper. Throw him back. Time to go play with some Texas dolphins. I just saw them. Guess they're not as comfortable as the California dolphins. No, let's hit the ring. Man, this is cool. Let's check the next spot. I got this platform and I got one over there. Red. We're right up on it now. Should be good. Right here. Get big. Come on, snapper. Next platform. Let's see what's working here. Come on, snapper. I want a big one. I've caught a couple smalls, but I want a big. All right, it's about 10.30 now. I'm gonna go ahead, and start making my way back to that first platform. It's actually 10.50. And the wind's gonna come up at noon, so I'm gonna fish the last platform. Hopefully I can get myself at least one keeper snapper and then head back in so I get through the channel. It's a sketchy, sketchy exit out of the channel. Hopefully the entry is a little easier with the incoming tide, a higher tide. So come on, let's get it now. All right, coming back to the first platform that we started the day at and got the snapper at, because the other platforms only got redfish. See if we can work. I'm gonna switch to the plastic if I don't get any keeper red snapper. Let's see what we got. 